chocolate balls. We love you, chocolate balls. I miss you, chocolate. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> It is 9 a.m. right now, and I'm driving to my favorite little coffee shop in town. You can see my friends there that work there and get some coffee and a breakfast burrito. And uh, man, lots of things to do today. Uh, I know I'm just kind of living normal life right now, but uh, I gotta get I gotta get to the DMV at some point. I got nine boxes of food to put together. I got a bunch of stuff to do, and I gotta find a way up to Sierra City. Tons of things to do, man, so I'll be busy doing that. Um, but, you know, it's a beautiful day out. Good start to my day. It was good to wake up and see my mom and hang out. Dude, it's a new day, man. If you're going to work or whatever you're doing, man, I, I genuinely mean it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And, you know, every day's a new one, so if yesterday was a bad one, man, make this one even better than yesterday. And uh, let's do it to it. This is where the true magic happens, dude. Alicia Sugar Shack. Miwok Village, California, man. Check it out, baby. It is about 1 p.m. and uh, I'm just getting organized with all my stuff. I wasn't planning on being home this early, so it's like all of a sudden I'm just, I'm remembering all these things that I need to get done and things like that. So I'm organizing my boxes for the rest of the trip. And when you get up north, there's a lot less uh, stores, bigger stores at least, so. Uh, a lot more resupply boxes, in my opinion, that I'm going to send out. So I'm getting all that food organized now. I'm going to go shopping a little bit later and uh, hang out with some of my buddies tonight at home. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, it's just, it's like taking a zero, but at your house. It's super trippy, it, and it's nice to be home. Um, but I, I'm also excited to get back out on the trail. Uh, just so you guys know, Friday the 16th is when I'm heading back to Sierra City, probably jumping back on the trail around 1 or 2 p.m. I'm taking a couple buses, hopping some uh, buses to get there. So I'll be back there about 1 p.m. on uh, Friday, try to catch up with the guys. Probably by that point, they're gonna be like 100 miles ahead of me, but we'll see, maybe I'll just book it and try to catch up with them. I don't believe that there's many bad places on Earth but I think this is probably in the top five. How's the leak going? I'm about out. <laughs> <laughs> They call him Tommy, yeah. Tommy Two Chains, yeah. He's waking up. I'm waking up too. John's girlfriend is asleep right now, and I'm gonna go get her. No, don't do that. Good. <laughs> Got her. I'm just hanging out with my two my two best buddies, Shawnee Poo Poo. What? Sorry, I ain't even and Tom. A word you said. But I want to show off the mullet. It's not brushed or combed yet. Who cares? It looks beautiful. I want it to be in the sunlight. Like a direct sun. No, uh, that's good. Just a glow. You want to glow on the mullet and the nature of this thing. Glow. It's so nice. It's like a rushing river. 
Flow. Flow. Right over the rocks. It is Thursday, June 15th, man, and I am getting antsy already. Being at home, this, I'm, this is my second day at home, and uh, I got a lot of chores to do and things today. And then uh, I bought my bus ticket to head out tomorrow, so I'm gonna be out early. Probably back to the trail about one, so that's awesome. And I'm just like, all I can think about is the trail. So I'm excited to get back and uh, see some more, see some more dirt for sure. And uh, yeah, so today is just gonna be a relaxing day. I'm actually just uh, getting home, stayed at a buddy's house last night. And uh, my, be my best buddy, Sean, man, it is beautiful this morning. It's early, but I'm happy to be awake. Once I get up, man, I'm, my day rolls. Get a little coffee, of course. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome day, though, man. And uh, yeah, whatever's going on today, man, keep your head up. Let's get it. What are you doing right now? I'm, I'm in Nana's trailer. You're in Nana. What are you doing in Nana's trailer? Stealing the food? <laughs> Yo, would you like to see my wedding dress? I would love to. See your what? Wedding dress? Yes. Do you show you can show Uncle Andrew your your boo boo? Uh oh, what happened? This is my wedding dress. <coughs> Holy cannoli, that's pretty. Are you getting married? Yeah. Is there something no. you need to tell us? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, babies. I want more Burberries. You want more Burberries? Burberries. Oh, yeah. I remember Burberry, he saying that. They're also known as grapes. Uh -oh. No hats on in Nana's house. I'm not in Nana's house. Oh. Yes, you are, Nana's <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. It's nice. Uh, it's nice and sunny here. You should come home. I wish. <laughs> so I just went and got a brand spanking new hat for some hiking and I want to give a shout out to the local dude Twain Hart Miniature Golf Man family owned by friends that I grew up with and uh, I know it's little and stuff but man support your local businesses it's huge Twain Hart Mini Golf Look who I found. Represent Angel's Pest Control. Also, we're taking out the three wheeler today, baby. Woo it's good to be home, baby. Yeah! <laughs> you already know what it is. Yeah, buddy. This is the famous Bobby Aubrey that I've always talked about that owns metal and wood, and unfortunately I'm not wearing the hat right now, but I know, it's awkward. And this is Abby, who helped put the box together for me. And, uh, and this is Taze, and we're all hanging out, man. We all grew up together, but I do also want to give a shout out to this guy always for his company, and I'll put the link down below again, and, uh, and to Abby for sending me a box, because they're the best. Come on in. Get your mama in there. Get your mama in there. Get your mama in there. It is 8 p.m. and I'm just gonna be wrapping up the vlog here for the night, man. I have had an awesome two days at home. Just had dinner with my brother and uh, his wife, Carrie, and my parents, and uh, caught up with my friends, man. It was good to see Bobby. Saw my friend Taylor, man. Talked to Curtis on the phone, but we'll see him soon. Just got to see a lot of people, and uh, man, my heart is full, for sure. But you know I'll always be honest with you guys. I am itching to get back on that trail, man. 
I'm itching to get back out there. And, and I'm serious. Like, I'm not even just saying that. Like, I, I think about it all day. I'm like, man, I just can't wait to be out on the trail and out in nature, man. It's addicting. Uh, so the plan is tomorrow, uh, me and Pop, we're waking up at 6, and we're driving to Modesto to the train station, and uh, I'm taking a bus train situation up to Truckee, hopping on the trail, man. I'll be on trail by 2.30 or 3 tomorrow, and uh, hopefully maybe do 10 in and and get back on trail man i'm so excited i'm so excited to bring you along and to stop doing this lollygagging around in towns and at home it's time to get back to business get back in the saddle man dude, dude i have just been thinking about this for a while before i wrap this up i just want to give a shout out to the guys man and I, and I actually just was reminded about this when i walked out here and saw this, the american flag outside our house I just want to give a shout out, you know, it's not Veterans Day, it's not any Memorial Day weekend, it's nothing like that, but I want to give a shout out to the folks that serve our country. Whatever you think about all of that or political, none of that, they still serve our country, man, and they put their lives on the line. Man, my nephew Hunter, he does it. Uh, you know, Leish and Sean Healy, dude, I have just tons of friends in there, man, and I just want to, I want to give a personal shout out and thank you to them. Because without them, I could not be out here doing what I'm doing and enjoying a free country. So I want to say thank you to you guys tonight in the vlog that way because you guys are amazing. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow back on trail, baby.